Hey guys, my name is Lucas and in this video I'm going to show you what I've been doing in my free time over the last months. It's a nice project so stay tuned and enjoy watching. Let's dive right in. The project that I'm talking about is what you see on your screen right now. My goal is to finally build the electric jet board that I've been working on for a very long time now. As you can see, a lot of the CAD drawings are already finished but now it has to be brought to life. To bring it to life, we have to start with the absolute core of the project, the 11 kilowatt water jet propulsion system. Now, let me explain to you what a water jet is and how it works for a second. A water jet is a pump that consistently shoots out a water stream with high speed and mass flow rate. When we shoot something out at the back of a vehicle, it starts to move forward. That's Newton's third law. Action equals reaction. That's how rockets work. A water jet consists of four major parts, the intake, the impeller, the stator and the nozzle. Through spinning up the impeller, a suction is created. The water is pulled in and accelerated. After passing the impeller, the water is swirled up a little. We need a stator to correct that. It makes the jet more efficient. Then the water is pushed out through the nozzle. Designing the water jet for the surfboard was not an easy task for me at all. When designing such a thing, there is basically no way around computational fluid dynamics. In case you don't know what that is, it is the type of software that gives you all of those funny little colorful pictures. With the CFD, it is possible to simulate the flow of a fluid through geometries. When I started out with the project, I was new to designing stuff in CAD, which then resulted in a few relatively crappy 3D printed water jet versions. I understood that this couldn't be the solution, so after quite some time, I also decided to learn CFD, and then, after a lot of work, uncountable design changes and lots of headaches and frustration, I could finally say that I am happy enough with the result. There are still many things to optimize, but at some point, it is just time to move on. And that's what we're going to do now as well, because I want to show you the assembly and testing process of the jet. This is my old water jet testing stand. It still works quite well, as you can see here. You probably already spotted that it was used with two floating bodies originally, but in this video that won't be the case. There are two major reasons for that. The first one is that those little gangsters who live at the original testing site just bit parts of the floating bodies and destroy them completely. I didn't know that sheep are so attracted to insulation sheets. By the way, they only ripped that stuff apart. They didn't actually chew or eat it, so no sheep were harmed. And the second reason for not using the floating bodies is just that it is way easier to do it differently in the little swimming pool that I bought on eBay exclusively for this video. The floating bodies wouldn't even fit, so I decided to bolt the testing stand down to a big pellet, which I would then fix to the ground with heavy stones. Now we are almost ready to test, but I need to quickly explain to you how the testing stand works and what it measures. The simple answer is, it measures thrust force, and it does that through this orange crane scale. The stand consists of a stationary part and a sled that is guided by rolls. When the water jet, which sits in the sled, starts to exert a force, that force is transmitted to the crane scale via a rope. Like that, I can always see the force generated by the jet. But now? Let's start with the testing. Well, of course it had to rain that day, so I needed to improvise something quickly. My dad decided to jump in and help me. Thanks, dad. The goal for the testing day was getting some more data regarding temperatures in the power electronics and the motor. I measure temperatures through sensors, which sit inside of the components. 
The data is then shown to me in my monitoring software. To be safe, I also measure with a separate infrared thermometer, because once I had a motor showing me its magic smoke due to a temperature sensor failure. But now, I want to show you the latest test runs of the jet. What you just saw there was the jet running at about 5 kilowatts of constant power. In that state, it produces about 45 kilograms or 450 newtons of thrust. The maximum constant power lies at around 11 kilowatts. That means that much more is possible. The CFD simulation shows that up to 100 kilograms or 1000 newtons will be reached. But to be honest, I am too afraid to test it in the pool. You'll sadly have to wait for the next videos to see that. On this testing day, we had about 7 degrees Celsius outside. The motor reached a maximum temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. That shows that the water cooling of the components is doing what it's supposed to do. The cooling system works by diverting some of the high pressure water from the water jet nozzle through all of the components that need to be cooled. Without the cooling system, nothing would work like it should. Components would get too hot and riding the surfboard would only be a short joy. Testing over and over again makes my confidence that the surfboard will work like it should grow. But the way is still long and there are lots of things that can go wrong. And now, before I step into the next chapter of the project, I'm going to draw the line here. There is one more thing that you need to know. If you still have further interest regarding the jet, just watch the first video on this channel. It's about exactly the same topic, but there is way more detail in it. I would of course be happy to see you there. There I am again. What you just saw was the first video of a series of about 4-5 to five videos in which I am going to explain almost everything about the electric jet board. This is my first YouTube video, so if you have any tips or tricks that you would like to share with me, then please feel free to do that. I would like to make my videos better. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Have a nice time. Bye bye.